He did DJ in a box for us last week. Uh, you were talking to him this week. Now this is a guy that's been on the scene for many a moon, really. He's 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 been he's been a DJ for uh, he, he reckons about ten years. Mm. He started out in the kind of breakbeat side of the rave scene, and then found he couldn't get any DJ jobs for mm. the kind of things that he wanted to play. People didn't want to hear the kind of, his kind of music. So he yeah. had to go away and come back again. But now he's he's at he's the really forefront. He's storming, mm. storming Norman, although. He's not called Norman. Anyway, Rory was talking to him this week. As I said, he's got a different pair of trousers on, but the rest of his gear is the same, including his pants. Woofy! Here's what DJ Kid had to say. Again, we've got the first birthday of Jungle Magic. Do you want to talk me through the lineup? Yeah, well, it's um, quite a big lineup. It's a DJ Hype, Zinc, and Pascal. Um, the three guys who run a record label called True Players, which is um, one of the forefront labels from the UK jungle and drum and bass scene. The three of them together on one night is um, particularly special, not only for myself, but I think the scene in Scotland in general. How do they fit in with what you, you generally do at uh, Manga and uh, Jungle Magic? Manga can put on just producers who are maybe not necessarily known for the DJ side of things as well, but Jungle Magic will be predominantly just DJs um, and the, the big DJs from the UK scene. How do you feel about the state of what's going on with the drum and bass scene in Scotland? It's been, it's, it's, it's kind of stop start. Over the last, say, four or five years, we've managed to creep in, get the Fridays, get the Saturday nights, and um, the nights are slowly building up to um, be extremely busy. We're getting like 700 people a month at Manga and Jungle Magic's um, just about hitting the same figures. So we're look, hoping for about 900 this Saturday, so if we get that, that'll be um, a bit of a feat for us. It's not just the back rooms anymore. A lot more people are actually opening up and realising that there is actually clubs there in Scotland for drum and bass. Not just in Edinburgh and Glasgow, but also in places like Aberdeen and Dundee as well. They've got their own nights going, which are, are doing really, really well as well. How much do you think that the, that the scene has gone hand in hand with uh, what's being produced in Scotland? The producing side in Scotland is it's coming on in um, leaps and bounds now. It's definitely been a slow process. But um, certainly within the next 18 months, you're going to see a lot of tracks coming from people like Grand Unified, uh, GMAC, uh, the Conflict Guys, Future Engineers, and also myself. So um, it's just going to be a steady progression for us. One of the ways that you, uh, you manage to forge your career is that you, you, you remove yourself from being a Scottish DJ. You just went out and were just an international DJ. It was very, very hard for me to actually get myself onto Scottish promoters and clubs lineups. They were not interested in what they were doing when the music was back then, it was called Breakbeat. Um, they weren't interested in anything that we were doing. So basically I just turned my focus fully on to what was happening in England um, just by sending out tapes and stuff like that. And, but now that we've got the building blocks for um, the scene up here now, I'm far more interested in actually getting this um, scene developed in Scotland. Now you're also setting up your studio as well? Yeah, I've been bucking about in the studio for about, say, Three years, but now I've started to expand my studio. I've actually got my own base where I'm going to be building my studio, finishing my studio off within the next two, three months, um, and then sort of trying to perfect my own studio skills as well. There's a label coming as well. My label is going to be for other up and coming Scottish jungle and drum and bass producers, and at the same time, I'll be using producers that I've met down south who are more than willing to do remix projects for the label as well. You're putting out the first release as well yourself? Yeah, it's going to be my, it's going to be my debut release um, on my label. And although I've, I brought a track out last year with one of the other Scottish jum, jungle and drum and bass DJs, The General, but the first track on Invade Recordings will be mine, will be my debut release. Your journey of the last 10 years has been a slow journey or just a steady journey? Slow and painful, to be honest with you. I've like, um, been fe feeling like it for many years in Scotland was just banging my head against a brick wall. Uh, breakbeat scene in the early part of the jungle scene didn't really receive that much in the way of um, exposure from anybody. It's definitely been very, very hard. It's, I'm so happy to, 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 to know that I can just leave my house, go half an hour down the road in a taxi and play, play it in front of uh, 600 hardcore jungle and drum and bass head. Things are definitely looking up for us. Now he has been involved in, you know, what was break beat probably what, eight years ago, seven mm. years now, moved on, it's jungle that he's involved in. He's a key guy at Manga, him and G Mac you know, have kind of taken that off um, in Edinburgh there. Yeah, they're, they're, they're saying, um, he, he said to me uh, later that um, their, their name, the, the, the kind of manga brand, mm. is, is known throughout the country. I mean, I mean, we, we, we know because we see posters and we yeah, go to it and all yeah, the rest. Yeah. Um, but it's, 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 it's seen as a brand and it's something they're going to do, they're going to look to 
um, do more regular nights from like Newcastle mm. and further afield. Mm. And they're also affiliated with the manga film people. They haven't oh, just right. stolen the manga name. Right. It's, it's the actual, the, and they, they show manga films at the beginning of each night. Well, it's a good tie-in. I mean, he's obviously keyed up on this stuff, because I was having a look at the website uh, before, and it, it's one of the best websites I've seen of that genre. It's, you know, it's, it's slick, it's well laid out, it's easy to navigate, and he's got all the names on there that are in, you know, the different um, genre of music. Tanya Swift, obviously, he's been working closely with, and they sadly kind of been canned from Beat 106? Yeah, they, 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 they had a, uh, a show on a, a late night Wednesday night, I think it was, radio show. Mm. Very good, cutting edge drum and bass. Radio station decided that uh, UK Garage was more what Scottish people were into.